this week for another uh, another video of our weekly series here. We're back over at Cleveland Ford, uh, just bringing this Bronco back. You saw a little bit of it last week in, the, uh, you know, in a stock form. So I uh, wanted to show you this thing, kind of what we did to it. Not much support out for these things yet, being the sport edition. Um, they're, uh, they're, there's only like the biggest lift you can do on that thing is like a one and a half inch. So did a one and a half inch lift, uh, 17 inch aftermarket wheel, um, wrap, went up two, two sizes on tires, just a little more aggressive tire size, a little more aggressive tread. Uh, basically get, to give it the kind of the look of this new, you know, the big Bronco that everybody's going for. This is the sport version. Uh, did some lights on it, light up front, uh, rough country, what they call a, a nudge bar with a, uh, with a single row light bar, single row rigid light bar up top. Um, again, I mentioned it last week, but this color is immaculate. Dude, it's, it's crazy, it, it, it looks killer. So. Uh, make sure to tune back in from last week's video to, to see this thing in stock form. It's, it's, it's mind-boggling how much difference it looks. So shout out to our guys at Cleveland Ford. They're always sending us plenty of stuff. We, we have a great relationship with those guys. So uh, appreciate those guys and uh, letting us always uh, dress their vehicles up for them. So we got the uh, Bronco Sport dropped back over uh, with our guys at Cleveland Ford. Uh, something we wanted to show you, we actually just picked up from our guys at Cleveland Ford. Shout out to those guys again. Uh, we've been asking for one of these things for a year, year and a half. Obviously, they're super, super scarce to get. So, uh, as of yesterday or Wednesday, they uh, they called us, got us this wild track. Had a customer that had ordered it that canceled on it. Um, See, we're super excited for this. Obviously, there's a lot of new things coming to market for these things. We've done 10, 12, 15 of them through the shop, but it's not like having one of our own. We're going to uh, do some R&D, uh, try a few different kits out, try to do a few different wheel and tire setups. Um, it just, you know, just obviously have it here for the shop to kind of show, show customers when they come in, they're looking to do one. So uh, make sure to stay tuned. Uh, we got a lift kit, actually. We picked it up on Wednesday, windows tinted Thursday. Today's Friday, we've got a lift for it, but dude, we've been absolutely slammed. Obviously customers come first, so it's kind of on the back burner. Uh, Max out of town, he'll be back next week. So we're gonna get together, kind of pick out a wheel and tire. Uh, do some pretty cool stuff. We'll probably try two or three different setups on this thing as far as like wheels and tires and a couple of different lifts. So make sure to stay tuned and check this thing out. Got the uh, we got the Wild Track series as we showed you. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know much about these. I use uh, I, I kind of rely on Mac. He uh, he's been doing most of our Bronco stuff. So we've got the uh, some of the options this thing's got. One of my buddies texts me. He's been looking for one guy in Texas, and he's like, "Man, you got the one with all the good package." He's like, "What all does it What all does it have?" And I see him pictures, and he told me what all it has. I have no idea. So it's got the Lux package, which I think he had told me it's got the big screen. Got the goat mode for the like crawl. Got the front and rear lockers, um, black bead locker wheels. Uh, those are coming off anyway, so we don't care about those. Uh, we got the front bumper, the bash plate. This thing's loaded out. Um, I didn't even, I didn't know, like I said, I, I didn't know what all these things can come with and all the options and stuff, but it worked out. This is probably honestly exactly how we would have ordered it. Uh, the Wild Track's got, you know, the nicer interior, still got the, you know, the, the nice wheels and tires. It's the only, I think it's the only model that may come with like the 35 inch tires. So, uh, so pretty cool. So it's Friday here, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, super, super busy day. I've been, uh, Mac been out of town, so I've been super busy, like trying to get things done. We've had a lot of alignments, a lot of body shop alignments. At, you know, YouTube, we're already showing the, the, the beauty, beautiful stuff here, you know, that we're uh, kind of dressing up and all that stuff, but we do just a lot of general repair work, a lot of body shops and uh, a lot of collision centers and stuff like that. So let's go check these guys out, see what they got going. I'm sure they've, uh, I'm sure they're all busy here. They, they better be anyways, let's go check them out. Big E, that's our alignment guy right there. He's knocking them out. How many you done today? 
We still got what, five more, four or five more to go? Hey, 13, 15 alignments a day, nothing. He, he knocks them out. He, he handles them. Look, he's got another one waiting to be pulled in right behind it. Uh, another shop for us, They're, we do their alignment. So one comes in, Austin's pulling the, or one comes out, Austin's pulling the other one back in. So. Another dealer truck here, getting some sensors. Uh, they sold this thing and tire pressure lights on. So obviously customer wants that light off. So they're working on that. Mount fest. Mounted up, I don't know, eight or 10 sets of wheels and tires today. Got some methods for a job next week on a uh, either a Tacoma or a Forerunner. Uh, some fuel rebels on a Tacoma going on either today or probably Monday. Let's go over here and check Dylan out, see what he's got. Hey, boys, tighten up over here. What's up? Look, two main guys right here, Dylan Kelly. Kelly kind of graduated. He's moving into the shop. He's uh, been our inventory and shipping and receiving guy. Dylan's just now taking that over. Kelly's moving up, moving into the shop. We yeah. just got back from, from Lincoln, Tech. Lincoln Tech. Just got his cer certificates and he's back full time, rocking and rolling. Uh, don't forget, we ship wheels and tire packages all over the country. As you can see, this setup's going to a good customer uh, over in, I don't remember where, exactly where they're going. They're, they're going out though. Uh, JTX fours, Nitto Ridge Grapplers, very, very nice setup. Shout out to Drennan, very good customer, repeat customer of ours, owns a diesel shop uh, a couple hours away. So shout out to Drennan, we appreciate the business, brother. This is a new, uh, new wheel here from our guys over in uh, Murfreesboro. It's their own, own brand, uh, Evoke wheel. Uh, Liam, get some good shots of that brush, man. Look at that. That's a 26 inch, 26 by 10, um, you know, uh, GMC, GM 1500, uh, Yukon, Tahoe, Escalade, two wheel drive 1500, lowered 1500s. They've got, I think, two or three models out now. They're going to be doing some more. Uh, this brush finish is absolutely sick. Billet center caps, uh, no, no middle of the mall stuff here. These guys are doing it right. So that's the, uh, uh evo 02 option 2610 and brushed we got the 01s here in a black uh 24 inch this is going to be a new new big brand for us uh they're just hit they just landed i think last week so um if you like something like that got an escalade tahoe you know 1500 new wagoneer uh all, all that stuff you know there's kind of the street fitment make sure to hit us up we'll get you in a set of those My man Drew is going to tell us what we got going on here. Uh, rough Country 2 inch level kit with some fuel beadlock wheels with or fake beadlocks with some ridge grapplers. Looks pretty good, plain and simple. They're, hey, they're them. not fake beadlocks, they're simulated beadlocks. Yeah, so. they're at a good yeah price there's, point. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. Good <laughs> hey, all right, Mar Marty wants to be on YouTube. Put him on it. Hey, he's talking. What'd you do to this one, Marty? Marty, you got to go take. Right he's good. He's got it done, he said. Marty's cranking them out. You, what are you done today? Five or six? Four. Four today. Usually five, six, seven a day. So our man Marty, he's cranking them out. He's got, uh, we'll show you what he's got going on this Hellcat over here. It's, it's going to need some work, as you can see. Crank bolt. Common problem on these things. Uh, customer called, said it's overheating. Well, uh, kick the supercharger about. This thing makes like 900 wheel horsepower. Uh, you got bolt on, tune, all that stuff. But, Crank bolt backed out of it, uh, kicked the belts off, busted a coolant hose, started overheating. We're hoping it didn't hurt the motor because that's a uh, very expensive repair if it did. So we're gonna try to get a new, they've got a new updated crank bolt you can put in these things to hopefully keep them from backing out. Common problem on the 15, 16 Hellcat. So uh, we got a little bit of everything going on today. New Broncos, dress up, some F-150, some tire work, some maintenance work, a little bit of everything, we got you. Look. Cody coming in clutch. Look at him with the with, with the uh, Starbucks, Starbucks delivery right here. My man Cody. Shout out to Cody. That he even bought too. Hey, he he's doing so well in the office. Cody's only been in the office what five months, six months, seven eight months. Seven eight months. He's been with us for a long time. He's one of our older employees. But seven eight months in the office. Customer came in today. Spent I don't know, five six grand with us. Gave Cody a tip, said he's done so well that he uh, tipped the man. Said he's uh, very thorough and did a good job. So, and then went and bought us some Starbs. So, shout out to Cody. You you come in there and what? I come in there and Stigan's blind while I got this. Dad gun. 
and, and hey, we got you on the YouTube. Now, now if stuff goes missing, it's on you, dog. <laughs> Our oldest employee, or one of the oldest employees, started his new endeavor. Uh, he's he's now uh, he's now a trucker. He's he's uh, going out hauling his gravel. So uh, we're gonna miss you, Andrew. You the man, and uh, make sure you keep in touch with us. T hey, tell her, tell everybody on YouTube, bye, Andrew. Well, I appreciate all y'all doing for me, bro. No, we really do, Andrew. We, we're gonna miss you, bro. Make sure to make sure to come by and see us and keep in touch. Oh, I will. I'll be by if I ever need anything. You the man. Good luck with everything. I appreciate it, buddy. See Take you, care. man. All right, bye bye. Dang, I'm gonna miss him. He's uh. That was, that was Drew. He had to hold Drew's hand on everything. So now, what, what are you gonna do now, Drew? <laughs> well, the good thing is you got Jake coming back, so he can help you. He can hold your hand. <laughs> uh, time, I mean, never good timing, and we don't. Like I said, we're gonna miss Andrew a lot. He started out as a floor sweeper back five, four or five years ago. Five. He's like I said, one of our oldest employees. Uh, started out as a floor sweeper, garbage, and ended up going up to our lead installer. So yeah, that one's gonna that one's gonna be tough to replace for sure. Uh, Jake, uh, old technician that uh, was was with us for two or three years, couple of years. He just got back from. He's been over in uh, overseas. I don't know if I'm supposed to say where, but he's in the Ar Kuwait. Yeah, is he in National Guard or Army? Okay. Army or National Guard. So, Jake, we appreciate your service. He'll be back Monday. Today's Friday. He's coming Monday. Get started back. So him and Drew will be back up here. They'll they'll kind of head up the install department, doing all the lifts and lot. Rock lights, wheel lights, all that stuff. So he'll be back uh, next week. So uh, everything's keep on rolling right along. I was I was just bragging on the guy how good he's doing. Now look at him. He's down there on company time. Phone's probably ringing off the hook. He's down here putting putting windshield washer fluid in his truck. Come on, Cody. <laughs> yeah. Get you some Starbucks and washer fluid. Starbucks, washer fluid, tire time, whatever you need, guys. We got you. <laughs> Come on. No, don't get me in that. Come on, Dawson. Come on, Dawson. Stand up. Tell the camera who you are. Come on. Tell us. He won't do it. I tried. Well, hey, we're just going to keep a camera on you the whole time. We'll, 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 yeah, you can talk. Tell us what you're doing there, Dawson. That's, that's Daw Daw. Daw Daw, what you doing to that thing? I'm bouncing this tire wheel. <laughs> hey, look, he's a natural. He, he's good. Okay, guys, that wraps us up for today. Uh, again, busy day, so sorry I didn't get to do a longer video and show you everything, but uh, make sure to drop some comments in the, uh, in the comment section. Let us know what you want to see us do to this Bronco. Uh, we're going to kind of leave it up to the fans. We did that on our 450 and let everybody did a voting, kind of picked out the wheel and all that stuff. So I think we'll do something similar to th like that on the uh, – on the Bronco as well. So make sure to drop some comments, make sure to like, sub uh, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, uh, and make sure to report back. We'll probably dress this thing up. We'll give it a few days, let everybody vote. So maybe maybe next episode you'll see it dressed up. So uh, report back in. If you need anything, you kind of see what we do. We do a little bit of everything. 423-790-7447. Make sure to give us a shout. Again, subscribe to our YouTube page. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in.